Hi guys, in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to do a colour version of a circular landscape. Really simple, really easy, very very effective. Okay, so if you want to produce this, you start with a piece of paper and today I've got a saucer, slightly smaller uh, than my one yesterday and I'm going to hold it down and carefully draw around it. And today I'm using a pencil. Of course you could use a pen, but a pencil is fine. Then along the bottom I'm going to draw some tr kind of half triangle shapes showing where my forest is. All right. Behind that, not completely on top of it, but behind so it overlaps a little bit, I'm going to draw my second row so that the trees are poking up behind the first row, like so. So I've got my two rows of forest there, right? Now, when we did it with pen, well, you can see a little version here, we made some texture using the pens, but we're gonna use color. So I'm gonna start off, I've got two greens, and I'm gonna use my lighter green at the front, okay? Now, I'm gonna turn my piece of paper around, because being left-handed, I prefer to do it this way, right? You might not find that comfortable, you might want to experiment. I'm going to start off gently, but very carefully, following the curve of my circle, okay? Now you really want to take your time, okay? The colouring in this is important. And I'm not pressing too hard, okay? I'm being quite gentle here. And all of my strokes of the pencil are going up and down, up and down, up and down, okay? Slight curve, but up and down. Right, I'm going to continue that with my triangles, up and down, up and down, up and down, and then tidy it up. Up and down, up and down, up and down, tidy up that edge. Okay, I've made a mistake there. That's not a problem, because I can use that with my dark green in a minute. Okay, so I do my forest there, and then I'm going to use my darker green to go behind to show my second lot of forest. And again, I'm trying to keep my pencil direction going the same way, but then tidying up carefully. All right, so you do that all the way across. Okay, keep going the whole way. And then, just like the last video, you're gonna draw your mountain shapes. Okay, mountain's gonna go up, and come down. The next one behind it is going to go up and come down. Okay, slightly wiggly lines. And then we're going to start at the peak, the highest point. We're going to do this line, zigzag line, coming down the mountain, zigzag line, coming down the mountain, right? And that's going to give the impression that it's a 3D object. And in this landscape, the sun is shining down here, okay? So what's going to happen is the sunlight is going to hit this side of the mountain, and this side of the mountain is going to be a bit more shaded. So with my two browns, I'm going to use my darker brown to colour in the shady side of the mountain, the darker side. And if you wanted to do a snow-covered mountain, you could use some different colours. You could use greys and blacks rather than browns. Mine is kind of a sort of dusty sandy landscape. Okay, so I'm going to colour in this brown. Very, very carefully on the circle. When I've done the other side, I'm going to use a slightly lighter brown. And I can continue to shade that in. Okay, and then finally, with your blue, your sky, I'm again going to give a blue sky very, very, very careful on my circle, okay, until you get something that looks like this. Now, when you've got that, you can leave it at this and finish like that, or you could continue to add a little bit more block color. You might want to say, you know what, I'm going to put in a bit of texture there. I'm going to put a little bit of brown into my woods just to give the impression of some branches. Okay, um, you can see here I've done brown and yellow and you might want to add 
a little bit more detail there, maybe doing some lines like this, some hatching, maybe some cross hatching. And you can build up your picture more and more and more. And if you want to, you could also do a black outline on there. Okay, you've probably, if you've seen any of my videos, you'll know I'm a big fan of the black outline. Um, but I'm going to resist today. Uh, I'm not going to do that, although it is something that you might want to explore. Have a play. Have fun. I'd love to see them, guys. If you want to send me some examples, uh, I could give you some feedback. That would be really great. Um, I'd love to see your work. All right. Good luck.